Slayer. What is going on guys, I'm Bardkin. Today I'm bringing you another Halo 4 gameplay and commentary. Today you're looking at an, uh, another Drift gameplay. Uh, this gameplay actually got about um, about 10 minutes before I got that. You know I showed you that game for the um, one, uh, one, one game highlights, one game edit. Yeah, this is, um, I got this gameplay just before that, and it is perfection. So it is a, a decent game, if you will. I go 21 and all, I think, which is pretty decent. But the topic I'd like to talk about today is the fact of, um, well, why I'm not playing that much Halo. Now, um, I think many people left Halo for numerous reasons, as, as you well know, like competitive settings and various other um, aspects of the game weren't actually quite in tune. However, um, there's also there's one reason which um, also kept me going in reach, and I'm, I think I've probably shared this topic with you before, but um, this is, uh, I don't know if I have, but I'll, I'll talk about it again anyway. And that's the fact of um, a ranking sort of system, and I have actually highlighted this detail in uh, one of my What Halo 5 Needs to Do to Be Successful videos, but I'd like to go over it in more detail um, right now. Um, people left Halo 4 because there was nothing left to play for. There was no tournaments and the ranking was as soon as you got to 130 you were done. And you only needed like about, I don't know, I can't really tell you how many games or how many hours. But it was it was limited. It, it was very, very quick to get to 130. And unless you chose not to rank up for some reason, I'll be very surprised if you played the game for more than uh, more than perhaps more than a day's worth and you're not ranked 130 and all you play is uh, online um, so why haven't I been playing Halo? well the simple fact is there are other games where I need to achieve stuff in now don't go and hating on me because you've been seeing me playing FIFA and stuff, I have a very good explanation for this and I will be playing Halo again soon because this is about to end on FIFA on the on uh, ultimate team, you have um, you can get coins, which you can which you get by winning uh, matches and tournaments, and then you buy and sell players, etc., etc. You know what I mean. And the more coins you get, you can go on the transfer market and buy players, or you can open packs. Now, um, let's just stick with the idea of coins for now. Um, on FIFA, what is the idea of the game? The idea on ultimate team is to build the best team possible the best team that you want to make or just make some custom game or something like that now this tournament that's been out for the last week uh, no actually no it's just over Easter actually uh, you got 10,000 coins for now considering your average um, coins per game is something like 400 10,000 coins you can do a lot with 10k on ultimate team um, and I'm just getting a call from my mum so yeah I'll Sorry about that one, guys. Um, anyway, I'm back, and I've completely lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, 10k. That's a lot of money in Ultimate Team, and um, basically, that uh, that is what I want in Halo. I want there to be something left to play for. Maybe, uh, maybe a, a knockout sort of Team Slayer sort of tournament sort of thing, but online, obviously. And say, say in the Team Slayer playlist, you... Um, you go in and it says, you know, on the banner at the start, it says, oh, uh, win four straight Team Slayer matches and you win 10,000 credits if this was in the style of Halo Reach credit system, which I'd actually love to see rather than the Spartan points, because to be completely honest, Spartan points are a bit meh, you know what I mean? You know, it's very easy to get maximum and, you know what I mean? So well, that's what I want to I see there be an objective. I want to see... There being free for free industries, like you know when it used to be jackpot on Halo Reach, where you got double XP or something for um uh for yeah for playing games, you got double XP or something like that. I would love to see something like that have to turn and just have um like XP as a system of buying new upgrades for your character and stuff, make yourself look badass rather than just Spartan points, which you can only use on armor abilities, and you. You unlock all the armor straight away anyway. Come on guys, where is the point in that? I would love to see there to be a point to the game. Yeah, winning matches is good, but in but you feel like you haven't really accomplished much. And this is also why Halo could really do 
well, no, I wouldn't say really do. You know, Titanfall as well, just another game that I have. I, I only played like three games, FIFA, Halo and Titanfall, um, on my Xbox One. Um, Titanfall, your prestige. Now, I don't want to see prestige in Halo. I don't, I don't want to see that, because that's, that is taking on another idea from another franchise and putting it into Halo. I don't want to see that. I want to see there to be a... I don't want there to be a match rank. Mate, I... I that is what I'm trying to I'm trying to come here where there needs to be a point a point to play for the um, casual sort of gamer if you know what I mean well I play competitive settings with you know the lads you know uh, I, I play with um, oh my youtubers like happy Bob Cray Spartan uh, I played a couple with um, uh, M zealous oh, M zealous I play with a lot actually I've played with um, a Carlos a couple of times I played with Oh my man! Oh, what's his name? Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I've actually completely forgotten your name. Anyway, if you've played with me and you're a YouTuber, you know that we play me and the lads chewing up Cluster. He's not a YouTuber, but you probably know him. Um, El, uh, Apple Clutter, and you, you know, uh, they play. We play a lot of competitive. But if you're, um, but you don't get mu you don't get anything for competitive. Free for free. Don't go. Oh, custom game competitive. You're gonna get some extra credits for that. No, you don't get anything. You actually don't get actually anything. And I would genuinely love to see some time where there wasn't actually a point to the game. Um, there, there is a point to the game, where for playing titles, for winning matches, perhaps even improving grounds. I mean, it's there to be competitive. Perhaps you could say, okay, maybe it's a leaderboard. Maybe it's a ladder. So you get like you get points for a win. Like, oh, you got ten games. If if you get seven points out of those ten games you win a bonus ten thousand credits or something I know leave your thoughts in the comment section below I've been Vile Kid. hope you have enjoyed the gameplay sorry for the brief interruption in the middle and I'll see you guys all next time peace out